What's up everybody, it's Charles. Today I'm going to show you how to make a basically spill-proof funnel for filling AdBlue or diesel exhaust fluid. This is a bottle of diesel exhaust fluid that I got straight from Volkswagen. And according to the label, it not only works for VW, but BMW, Mercedes, Mazda, Peugeot, Land Rover, and Jag. This is awesome because basically the way this works is you unscrew the lid, you screw it into the AdBlue tank, you push it down and it fills your AdBlue tank without spilling. If the tank doesn't need this entire container, which is about half of a gallon, it'll just stop filling so you can't overfill the tank. And while these are only about five bucks, it gets a little expensive and a little wasteful to keep buying these. So here's how you can turn this into essentially a spill-proof funnel. Then you can use the bigger two and a half gallon containers so you're not wasting so much plastic and you're saving some money. First step, we gotta use all of the AdBlue that was in the container. So go ahead and fill up your AdBlue tank in your vehicle and make sure this is totally empty. Next, what we'll do is we'll take a very sharp razor knife and we're just going to cut along the bottom of the plastic container. So we'll plunge our knife in and just work our way around. If you want to, you can file this down a little bit and make sure it looks nice and fresh and make sure that you don't have any jagged edges. Now, you can leave it just like this and this will absolutely work fine. You can see here is our air vent tube. This allows the fluid to go in and the air to come out. If you leave this like this though, you actually run the risk of a little bit of urea or AdBlue or diesel exhaust fluid coming up and out and either getting in your car or you know run the risk of hitting you in the face. If you've ever dealt with diesel exhaust fluid, it is not the most friendly thing. You definitely don't wanna get it on your skin. What I like to do though, and what I did with mine at the shop, is I put a vacuum hose on here. The outside diameter of this hose is about a quarter of an inch. So we need a piece of hose that the inside diameter is a little bit bigger than a quarter of an inch. I just had some laying around right here that fits close enough. We'll cut, oh, I don't know, two or three inches off of it. Then we'll hold our hard line. We'll take our vacuum line and just slip it over. If you feel better, you can throw a zip tie down here on the end of it, but I've found that you don't really need to. Now, once we have our hose on, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a spot where we can sort of bend the hose around so that it points back down into our bottle. What you don't want to do is you don't want it to be creased. That's going to defeat the entire purpose of our funnel. So we just kind of want it folded around. Looks like this is going to be about a good spot right here. I'm going to take a marker, and just put two little dots here and here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pick, or you could use a drill bit if you want. I'm going to poke a hole where my mark is, then I'm going to do it again. Watch your fingers if you're holding it like this. We're just going to work our pick through. Heating this pick up might actually make that way easier to do. We'll do the same thing for our other one. Now what we'll do is we'll take a zip tie. I'm going to use pink for this one. Color choice is up to you. Put our zip tie through. Once you get your zip tie looped, take our hose. Put it through, make sure our hose isn't creased. Go ahead and lock our zip tie down. We don't want to crush the hose, we just want it enough so that it stays in place. Just like that. Trim the end of our zip tie off, and we're done. So here is what our modified funnel looks like compared to our original one. Now what we can do is we can screw this onto the car and instead of using five of these to get our two and a half gallons or 10 to get our five gallons, we can pick up something like this, the bulk container, and use this to put AdBlue in here and then this to fill it up. We won't run the risk of overfilling it and we're way less likely to spill it than if we try and fumble around with something that's heavy, has a nozzle, into a little tiny opening to fill our AdBlue. So there you guys go. This is exactly what I used at the dealership when we were filling AdBlue all the time. And it works just perfectly. Eventually you may have to replace it because it gets a little crusty down here in the bottom, or you can just clean it out. If you're gonna store it vertical, I'd recommend throwing a cap or something on it so you don't get dust or debris down in there because we don't wanna get any goop inside of our AdBlue tank. All right guys, questions or comments, drop them down below. If you liked this video and found this tip helpful, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you again next time.